Another feature that's nice from um, Cinema 4D is the stage object. And um, that's more or less an object that I like to use to kind of switch between different cameras, like if we're trying to do an animatic or something like that. So let's just create another camera as if we wanted to do an animatic, and then we'll kind of show you how a switcher works to switch between multiple different cameras. So I'm going to untick the lock here so I'm no longer locked to my current camera view. And then I'm gonna just pick a different camera angle and we'll say, maybe we wanna just like set another camera over here kind of panning across you know, our, our geometry, or maybe we'll actually just have to match the camera movement. We'll just start, we'll just kind of pan away from uh, maybe this, this thing right here. Yeah, we'll just do something like this. So I'm gonna just uh, control click on the camera, on um, uh, the uh, shelf up here and create a new camera here. And let's go grab that camera in our network view. I'm just gonna bring it up here by camera three, which is the other camera we just animated. And I might name these something reasonable now. I'll set, I'll say that I actually wanna have, I wanna start on this shot where it's closer up. So let's call this anim cam one. Like that. And then this other one right here will be anim cam two. And um, so anim cam one, we're looking through anim cam one right now. And I'll just set a keyframe here and let's go out. Uh, let's say for this one, we're going to go out to frame um, 72 as well. And then I'm going to just kind of pull back and give it another little rotation like that. And we'll just kind of set those keyframes by alt clicking on those parameters. And I'm going to grab all of them. Just make sure I have all of them selected. I just like to home in and then zoom out a little bit and select everything. And then we'll linearize those. And let's see how that looks. You can see we're kind of just pulling back like so. That's looking good. Um, and then since I want these two cameras to kind of happen one after another, I'm just going to grab all the keyframes from anim cam two and move, slide them over to frame 72. So I could do that by actually coming down here in the timeline and holding on the shift button and dragging over all those keyframes. Then if I make sure that my, um, mouse is over one of these keyframes, I can middle mouse click and drag out to frame 72 to drag both of those keyframes out. That's kind of like working with the, you know, it's similar to working with a, um, with like a dope sheet. So you can see you kind of got those two keyframes over here. If we select both our cameras, you can see that we've got all of those uh, keyframes around here. We can kind of actually, you know, kind of grab these keyframes and, and move them around similar to how we're doing right here um, in the uh, dope sheet. I just like working in this little thing. I find it a lot easier to use than a dope sheet. I'm not much of a dope sheet person. I'm kind of a curves slash fiddling with this, uh, with the um, elements of this bar down here type of a uh, person. <laughs> so we've got those uh, two sets of keyframes one after another. And then the next thing we need is a switcher. The switcher is gonna allow us to switch between these two cameras and view that up here. So I'm just gonna hit the tab key and throw down a switcher. And then I'm gonna wire in anim cam one first and then anim cam two second. And here, now I'm gonna untick the lock so I'm not locked to my current camera view, but you'll see that under here I can switch, I can actually select the switcher as my camera. So it's just gonna select that switcher one. And now when I scrub the uh, timeline, uh, I haven't added any keyframes, but I will be able to uh, switch between which camera I'm using, using this thing right here. So if I wanted to switch on frame 72, from camera one to camera two, I could uh, add a keyframe right here. I just alt click and hit this switch camera on zero and then move forward one frame. Let's do that using this little button right here. And then I'll switch this over to one. I'll enter in one right there and then hold alt and um, click it as well to make a keyframe there. And then you can see that we're actually switching between those two cameras when we scrub through our timeline like so. So if I just play that back, so you're on camera one, boom, camera two, we're zooming in, and at frame 144 it stops. So that's kind of how you can do like a stage, um, like a stage like management of like switching between cameras all within one scene. If you are looking to render out your final frames using the camera angles defined by this switcher, you can do that over here if we go to the output context here, under the main tab here, you can actually select the switcher as your render camera. So that's available to you as well if you're looking to render out a full sequence with the camera switch baked in.